Hello, Johnny Grunge. My name is Earl. You don't know me. I'm I do farm and I leave video comments. Uh, there's more to me than that, but none of it's really important. And this is your farm video comment, and I'm listening to Midnight Run. It's not called that. What is the song called? It's called Johnny Grunge. No, that's your name. It's called Welcome Designed Mistake. That's what it's called. I played this on the Farmcast uh, Thursday night, last night. I don't know if you were listening. I don't think you were. Where do you live? I don't even know where you live. Let's go and check. You live in uh, Maryland, USA. So you could have listened, but you didn't. Although, that's okay. I Not very many people were listening that night. And I was really tired. And I do a lot of talking. And uh, I can understand not wanting to. But it played all six minutes. And it was great. The, the feedback was really cool. I got a lot of people comparing it. Wow, this sounds a lot like... And then they mentioned a band that I didn't know. Or maybe I did know and I just forgot what the band was. But that's okay. Anyway, you know what was really cool when I was on your page? Yeah, one of your influences, Jonathan Colton. And so I thought that was really cool because that means... You like a geeky music, and that's kind of that's the only music I make. Actually, is geeky music. Not that I'm trying to plug myself on your song. You don't even have to go. I'm not even gonna. Well, you'll find my profile just by my name, but doesn't matter. You don't have to listen to anything. Anyway, we're listening to Design Mistake. Uh, what what is it about? I don't I don't know actually because it has a nice groove and it has a nice uh, driving. Um, group and it reminded me of something I can't remember what it reminded it reminded me of a song in fact it didn't even remind me of a video game and that's 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 crazy when it reminds me of a song and not a video game but that's okay unless of course we we talk about all the design mistakes that are in video games and then that's like like Easter eggs and that's kind of cool like that reminds you know I never did find the very first Easter egg which was an adventure and you had to take the the Atari one. And it was neat, because, you know, I read the background on why people put in Easter eggs. I did find a few Easter eggs in, like, on my Intellivision. I remember there was this one, and I, I can't even remember where I saw it. I think I found it in one of those old... We didn't have the internet back in the day when I was playing video games. And all we had were, like, uh, computer magazines and electronic gaming monthly. But not when it's what it is now, but way back in the... It used to be called something else. And then it... Actually, I can't remember. There were a lot of computer magazines back there back then and my dad would buy a bunch of them because I would beg for them and then it was cool anyway it was remember I think it was um in television had a one called crazy climber and I think if you did something properly then it would just flash the names the initials at the bottom it, the easter eggs were really boring back then it was just like the initials of the creator and that's it I don't know why I went to all the trouble of even just trying to find them <sighs> what was I talking about Oh, we're looking at... I could read your lyrics and see what the song's about. Um, it's closing in, you're running out, closing in. Like, that reminds me of uh, Blood, but don't ask why. You know, like, you know, the, the torrent of blood that was in... Um, what is it? The Shining. Actually uh, parodied in Kung Fu Hustle. And, that, and that's all sorts of cool. Because, you know, I like Kung Fu Hustle. Actually, a lot of the stuff probably wouldn't translate over well. I like... Uh, Shaolin Soccer, but not too many people did. I thought it was hilarious. And so when Kung Fu Hustle came out, I didn't like CG7, though. That's pretty weird. Anyway, sorry, what are we talking about? It's about a girl, right? Or a guy, I don't know. Whoever it's about. And you, you are designing to break... Oh, I get it. Design mistake within a relationship. So this is like, you know, you're trying to emotionally manipulate. Is that what it is? Sorry, I'm not saying that that's what you do. I don't know. I'm not good at relationships anyway. I mean, I'm married, so that's kind of nice. I got I got somewhere. Oh, I know what you mean by design mistake. It's like, you know, I have a lot of skills. Actually, no, that's I, the opposite. I have a lot of non-skills. For example, like putting up shelving. And that's and that isn't really by design, but it kind of is. I don't really want to learn. I mean, the last time I put up shelving... It all crashed down. And I'm not very good at things like house repair. 
and um, and I, I, but I'm not going out of my way to learn because it's just hard and I got a lot of other things. So that's almost like a design mistake, right? Because I, I fail, but it kind of like serves my purpose. And it was a very cool song, and I hope you do well. I see you have a whole whack of um, songs. You have three, right? You have three, two of them with Fender Telly. So you take care of yourself and say hi to Fender Telly for me, and I hope you have a great fall. Bye-bye.